Take that shwag one. Bless up, bless up all my viewers, all my subscribers out in the world. Hope y'all doing well. Don't forget to subscribe, hit that notification bell if you haven't as yet. So no more science song from Valiant. Yes, people, we see the artist respond to a comment addressing someone. Also, Popcorn received multi-platinum certification in South Africa. Plus, we see Squash put out a post seemingly in reaction to Mad Dog. Murder. Yes, people, the six artists. Also, we're gonna talk about Futa Hype warning Valiant about Ramesh. Plus, we see Futa Hype show some this over Scatterbarrel side. <laughs> yes, people, stay tuned. We have more coming up as well. Yo, Reggae Media TV, Pada Dan, everything we bad. Are we mad at Dan? Everything we mad. So congratulations to Popcorn, his song Risky with Davido has given multi-platinum status in South Africa. Yes, people, as you can see right here, the fans de Maria can congratulate Popcorn same way. The artist currently on tour in the UK. Mm, 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 mm. They just walk in the streets of London just like this, like a chandelier, a human chandelier. Glac <laughs> Glacier boys, look and see what's going on. Easy iceberg. Yes. Iceberg. I'm a card from the tropics where it's fucking hot. Alright then. No more. Uh, <laughs> that's the movement, you know what? Mm hmm? Mud dog. Yo, gang. Yo, gang. Out of nothing. Uh, yo. Even though I'm here. So upcoming dancehall artist Mad Dog is reported to be one of the three men whose body was found a few days ago in Mount Zion St. James. The DJ who hails from Mobile is best known for songs with dancehall artist Squash, Daddy One and the Chronic Law. After the incident, we see Chronic Law right here put out this post saying, Words Naga ever can explain how this unpredictable world make me feel. If I never you, me get styling from jailhouse days. You push me music round the whole of Jamaica, help me spread my wings in the road. It F up how you gone and we not get fit talk about some things. Life F up, unpredictable and F up. I just love brother. Hashtag mad dog. So Futa Hype randomly call out Skiata Burrell right here to entertain the crowd at a recent event. Big up Skiata Burrell! In Nali Well, in Soul Green Well, in England Well, in our Pope Pope Swell! Big up Skiata Burrell! Big up Skiata Burrell! Big up Skiata Burrell! Futa hype not easy at all. Just giving some trouble right here. We see Futa hype post the clip on his Instagram along with the caption saying, Dead with love, no people. Me and him now war, but from time to time, forward a fair run. LOL. Yo, Beanie Man, you see how much time me bust the one sanya. Fort Walton Beach get shelled on one footer hype music. <laughs> well, a lot of people just like in the dance are laughing at the comment section. Okay, so moving along the next topic, Carlton Coffee, the former lead singer of Inner Circle's biggest hits, passed away at age 68. Yes, people, Inner Circle known for hits such as Bad Boys, Fame, and Sweat. Yes, people, some of the biggest hits over the years, you know, up to this day, them still a get play. So the reggae singer's daughter confirmed that he died in Palm Beach Gardens, Florida. On February 2nd, 2023, she was unable to provide the cause of death, but said her father had been battling diabetes for years. Her exact words stating to Dan Salmag, My dad always had diabetes. He started to get sick when he was with the band in a circle, which is what caused him leaving. Yes, people, so you know the lead singer he also voiced the band Sweat. You know that song, ah, la 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 la. You know, girl, I wanna make you sweat. That song recently earned a gold certification in the United Kingdom after selling over 400,000 copies in the UK, according to the British Phonographic Industry. 
Alright, so no more science song from Valiant. Yes, people, we see the artist put out something in response to a comment. We're gonna get into this article right here from Dan Salmag, where the published science singer Valiant say he will no longer release songs that promote the practice of especially since he has gone corporate. A few days ago, Valiant snuck into the comments section of a star article about him on Instagram after the reader stated that mommy needs to tell him to stop singing about phobia. Seemingly amused by the recommendation made by the woman, Valiant tagged her and replied as you can see right here, laughing emoji went corporate, no need to. <laughs> So it's like now we are gonna see Valiant ease up off of them kind of tune the people wanna think about this. Recently we see Valiant did an endorsement with Digicel, the Digicel 40 million in a 40 days campaign. So it's like Valiant since we see him around Romish right now, you know, it's like certain things kind of change up. We see him get more corporate. Yes, people, yesterday we see Futa Hype advise Valiant about signing to Romish and what it come with, you know, all the stigma and, you know, him basically I tell Valiant say he can make a whole heap of money but it come with certain things. Credibility wise? Signing to Ramesh Entertainment is one of the worst things you can do. Automatically, you're going to get labeled as a Bowers. Automatically, Batty Business are going to call for your name. Automatically, people are going to say you're shaky. See? So, more you get with me, I say. More than understand me, I say. Sign in to Ramesh Entertainment have double standard to it. Money wise, getting sure, have carpet um, endorsements, all of them something. There. Nice. But Ramesh them, I have no limit to who them work for. I mean, I said this and I this, me, this Ramesh. And this man is nobody was saying to Ramesh. It's just the truth. It's just the truth. Once you're signed to Ramesh, you'll be labeled as Bowers. Based on all them set the foundation of the company there. See? For me, Valiant signing to Ramesh is not a bad thing. But it is also a bad thing. So it depends on how him play him care of them and how him operate while him run them. Because TJ did run them and TJ did that. I'm about careful till him can't back no more. He might be chewing in the bat and cut. You understand? Ding dang, I'm about careful and ding dang still get beaten. Ding dang still get beaten. Ding dang still have to live with that pressure around there of getting branded as a certain kind of man, even if he's a certain kind of man. De. So the company, they come with a stigma. De. So earlier in the vlog we put out a post about Chronic Law reaction about the whole situation with upcoming artist my dog, you know, a six member. We did see Squash put out a post which is no delete, you know, it's like seemingly a reaction towards the whole situation. So it's like Squash put up a song with him and Bobby Six have out, you know, times like this. The song basically I tell you about depression, you know, of life where somebody can go through. And this song right here, some of the fans me know them supposed to wonder at the time. You know, the time when Squash post it, right after the news are circulate, we did see chronic law reaction. All of them things they are circulate. So right here, you know, Squash took to his Instagram at the time and make a post of the song with the lyrics on it. Just peeing in at this man corrupt energy draining at this. Yes, people is like squash put out the post and the simple caption believe so it's like me no know if this is in reaction to the whole situation because the artists them did close to each other you know it's like squash him supposed to feel it same way like how we see chronic law you know express himself over social media yes people so you know squash seemingly react to the whole situation right here with mad dog Yo, reggae media TV, badder than everything we're bad, and we madder than everything we're mad. Subscribe now, you hear 